Chuck, Todd. Thank you, Mr. President-elect. Uh, uh, the situation in Gaza is getting worse. Fighting has resumed uh, this afternoon, this morning. Right. What I understand your response has been one president at a time. Uh, you can't say in that is not the way you've handled the economic situation. And with it getting worse, is important for you to send a message to the Arab world right now that you are involved in the ceasefire talks, that your national security team is working with the Bush administration national security Chuck, team rather than just getting updates? Yeah, look, the, uh, I will repeat what I've said before. Uh, we can't have two administrations running foreign policy at the same time. We simply can't do it. Uh, and so as a consequence, uh, what I am doing is I am being briefed consistently. My national security team is fully up to speed on it. Uh, but the situation of domestic policy making and foreign policy making are two different things. Uh, we, we, can, we, cannot, we cannot be sending a message to the world that there are two different administrations conducting foreign policy. That is not safe for the American people. Uh, obviously, I am deeply concerned about the status of what's going to be taking place, uh, what, what's been taking place in Gaza. Uh, and as I said yesterday, I'm uh, doing everything that we have to do to make sure that the day that I take office, we are prepared to engage immediately in uh, trying to deal with the situation there. Uh, and not only the short-term situation, but uh, building uh, a process whereby we can achieve uh, a more lasting peace in the region. But uh, until I take office, uh, it would be imprudent of me uh, to start uh, sending out signals that somehow uh, we are running foreign policy when I am not uh, legally authorized to do so. Do you worry that the Palestinians, though, are, are interpreting your silence? Uh, in, in Chuck, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, there are I, I can't control how people interpret um, uh, what I'm saying, uh, other than to repeat what I've said and uh, hope that they hear what I'm uh, hear my message. Uh, the silence is not as a consequence of a lack of concern. In fact, it's not silence. It is I've explained very clearly uh, exactly what institutional constraints I'm under uh, when it comes to this issue.